Hello friends! Welcome back to your favorite digital marketing channel. This is Jelly from Life Marketing and in this video, I'm going to show you how to design ads for Instagram. When designing an ad graphic, you generally should have four key things in your image. A headline, a subject, a call to action button, and a logo. Their positions and sizes in the ad will depend on what your ad is about, but you should probably never have your logo as the largest of the three key elements, especially on Square ads with limited space, as you'd want to feature the service or product of your brand rather than your brand name itself. There are multiple design programs you can create your ad designs with. Photoshop, PicMonkey, GIMP. There's even a completely free browser site called Photopia that is basically a browser version of Photoshop. But in this guide, like we have done so in previous design guides, we're going to use the most accessible design tool site to date, Canva. On the Canva website here, I'm going to type and select Instagram ad, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Once the canvas loads, we can start from scrap, or we can go ahead and type ad or Instagram ad in the search bar here, and Canva will then display multiple ad templates we can choose as our starting point. If you're fairly new to graphic design, I strongly suggest picking one of these to start with and using that starting template as a placeholder and swap everything out. The goal being a unique graphic that doesn't have a high chance of having duplicates out there. In a previous design guide, we've created a mock brand called Coffee Cat and we'll be using that as our sample for today's ad design as well. Before we start making changes to the template design, make sure you have your own brand's product photos, logo variations, and other design material you may have all gathered in a single folder so that you can go ahead and upload these files to Canva. If you don't know what essential material to prepare, we have a quick guide on what you need to make quality design graphics. So if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. So the template you select should also depend on the type of ad you're doing, like a sale graphic would feature mostly text like this, or a service type ad should feature people like this. Or in this case, let's say we're doing a product feature of this product which is now our subject image. So basing on the figure of our subject, let's find a template that will complement it. Also in the search bar of the templates, you can type in your product itself and you'll be shown a bunch of relevant templates. If you have a brand guide, be sure to have it open in a separate window or upload it as a canvas page for reference. Okay, so the template's background color doesn't really go with the branding for Coffee Cat, so I'd like to use something like this color or a grunge texture like this instead. Now, since the product is coffee beans, I think I want to add actual coffee beans in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and type coffee beans in the search bar and let's see what images Canva has for that. Feel free to explore and add different elements into the design as well. So long as it complements your product, don't be afraid to get creative and experiment with what works. It helps to look at what designs the most known brands in similar industries as yours are doing as a reference. And also try to see what you can do to make yours stand out more and look better. So now we have most of the imagery set up. Let's move forward with the text. Let's say our headline is get 10% off. And let's add the CTA button, which will say order now. I mentioned earlier that the logo is one of the four key elements. We already have our subject image, our headline, and CTA button. But because the subject image already has our logo featured very clearly, we can go ahead and skip adding the logo for this image. Okay, this is pretty much done, but since we're using Canva, we can go even further with this and turn it into a video ad. Click on this animate button over here and it will then show you a bunch of different animation presets. These are simple transition animations, but they make all the difference in adding that movement to your graphic that'll help get your audience's attention. Also, if you have any videos of your product or service that you want to feature in the ad, you can add an extra layer to your design. Upload your video or you can use a stock video from Canva as well and simply drag it into the canvas. And since we skipped featuring our logo on the other frame, we can go ahead and feature that here instead. Edit how long you want the video to run like this. Instagram ads limit for video length is 1 to 60 seconds. If you want to add music, Canva has a library of sounds you can choose from as well and add them into the design by simply dragging and dropping it in. Once done, you can go ahead and download your video ad as an MP4 file. There you have it, a standard Instagram square ad. For carousel ads, which is also in the same aspect ratio, the first page should be the most eye-catching one with all of the four key parts present. 
The rest can be just images of the products you're selling. But you can also add a branded frame or a few decorative elements, nothing too overpowering as you want to feature the product the most with the slides after the first one. Other Instagram ad formats to note is Instagram Stories and IGTV, which are both 1080 by 1920 pixels. Once you've set up Canvas, you can just leave your original square ad open in the other tab and copy paste the elements from that tab to your Stories ad canvas. Be sure to adjust the positioning of your elements so that you're using all the space in your Stories ad. Also for both Stories and IGTV, you're better off using videos, so for graphics-based ads for both, take advantage of the preset animations that Canva offers. Same as your square ad, once you're happy with your design, go ahead and save it as an mp4 file, and for both stories in IGTV, the maximum video length is 15 seconds. That's it for today's guide. If you learned anything from this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing, and I'll see you in the next design tutorial.